So uh, here's the latest. The jury is expected to vote tomorrow, the grand jury, on whether or not to indict Trump. I don't know if the grand jury and the district attorney of Manhattan, Alvin Bragg, can pull back now. So it looks like they're going to have to indict him. Then all hell breaks loose, as everybody knows. So the NYPD is already putting up barriers. I don't expect mass demonstrations. I don't expect that. Could be wrong. But I think people would be seething the polling that's come out since this whole thing is in play shows Trump up. That's an emotional reaction. Um, the DA Bragg is office has issued a statement saying we're not going to be intimidated, blah, 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 blah. But none of this should be happening. And believe me when I tell you, and I said this yesterday, uh, that the House Republicans are going to say, all right, you're going to do this to a uh, former president somebody who's running again, we're going to take Biden off the table. Where do you see what happens? And I uh, debated that with Chris Cuomo last night on News Nation. Um, and it got down to, as most of these debates do, Trump versus Biden. Roll the tape. I'll tell you one thing that's nice. We are not obsessed with talking about the latest garbage to come out of the face of the president every day the way we were for four years See, you're, under you're Trump. Showing your, there is you're a showing your bias. It's not a bias. It is not you're, a bias. The sure president went out bias. of his... No, no, no. It's, it's an observation. It's the absolutely biased, Cuomo. Out, the former president went out of his way to dominate the media cycle by picking fights in every direction he could, whether it helped or it hurt. Say what you want about Biden. He doesn't do that. And I do think it takes some pressure off the entire polity. But that's uh, my take. Fine. At, it's you, a bias, you, but you, I think it's factual. Cuomo. Yes, sir. Cuomo. If yes, you sir. look, you use the word lies. If you look yes. at what Donald Trump said when he was president and what Biden is saying now, the border is mm -hmm. secure, according to Joe Biden. He's bringing down the deficit, according to Joe Biden. Inflation's not his fault, it's Trump's fault, according to Joe Biden. If you stack up the statements side by side, there's no question who is misleading the American public the most. All right, so it's spirited debate, and as we do every Wednesday on News Nation with uh, Mr. Cuomo, it's a very worthy exercise. I hope you check it out. Uh, we post some of the clips on BillOReilly.com, but Nobody else in cable news comes close to doing that uh, because it's too hard to do it. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year's stocks dropped a whopping 20%. 2023 could be worse. You are right to be worried. So call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I've been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers and have the highest rating in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201 or text BILL to 65532. Again, that's 866-501-5201 or text BILL to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, Please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.